Hello and welcome, and today we're going to be doing a Mordex guide, right? And I've played a lot of Mordex, he's my most played character still. And he's probably my, one of my favourite characters in the game. I find Gaunt's very fun, and Scythe is my main weapon, and I find it the most fun. And we're going to get into a few little things that you can learn on Mordex to improve your gameplay. First things first though, uh, right now, uh, stay with on this video of course, like and subscribe of course, but... Uh, one of the most important things to do is check out my Gauntlet and Scythe guide. I have in-depth guides for both Gauntlets and Scythe. Combo guides, string guides, neutral guides, everything in those guides, right? Uh, and they are in cards above, linked in the description, pinned comment, they're everywhere, right? And I would go watch them after because it's a really good thing. But we're going to get into some things that are unique to Mordex, going from kind of least important and most niche to some of the best things you can do on Mordex. Anyway, first we're going to cover each of the SIGs and their uses and how good they are and how much you should use them, right? We'll go from best to worst. Mordex's best SIG on Scythe, uh, Scythe is N-SIG. As you can see, it hits, it's massive and it hits behind as well. The perfect N-SIG, actually. Uh, it's insane. You can jump out of it. It's good to GC. Very, very, very good SIG, right? It has really good synergy into everything uh, on Scythe's kit. You can do it off every single light attack if you want to, right? And it's really, really good. And uh, this is the SIG you should be using the most. You should be using it a lot to kill. If someone jumps a lot, you can kind of just throw it. Very difficult to punish. Perfect SIG. Then we got side sig. This sig is extremely good. It lingers just a bit longer than it should, and it has really good range. Right? It's not the fastest of sigs. It is very, it is punishable, but it's hard to spot dodge because just the way the sig is, it has like just enough startup frames to be really annoying to try and punish. But it, uh, it has enough active frames that it's really hard to. Uh, it has enough active frames that it's really hard to spot dodge through. So this is a very good sig. Right? Good damage as well. The down tick is a little bit of a niche sig, right? The hitbox isn't the best, but I'm going to go through something you can do with it after. And this little, I call it the fadeaway, is actually really, it's like surprisingly good. You catch a lot of dodges with this uh, because you kind of step back and then scoop forward and you kind of hit where you were. A very, a very good sig with a good niche uses I'm going to cover. And we're going to make sure I show you the active input. You can swing them forward or back depending on whether you hold forward or back. It's that easy. Now go on Gaunt's. Gaunt, the best sig is the down sig. The down sig is insane. First of all, small hitboxing, but it's fine, right? And second of all, throws down. Very good throw angle. But if they're on stage and they're not going to get thrown, go straight up, right? And this is such a good sig for killing because of that. Off the side of the stage, right, you can kill really easily with it going uh, down. And off the top of the stage, you can go up, right? Or if they're in the middle. So if they're on the edge, you just throw them down and then look, he's going to die at light orange. Insane signature. So make sure to give that one a go. Right? Side tick is a bit more niche, but this little jump is surprisingly useful, right? And I'll explain why. So first of all, the hitboxing is surprisingly big. It's quite big and it hits under. But this jump, you see I'm in the air? You can jump over most light attacks in the game. And a lot of grounded sigs. And you can side tick above them yeah you can jump them with the sig which can be very good and recovering is also very good with the sig right you can you can recover with the sig but only because you have a really really far jump i'll make it back from here and if it hits then it hits right it doesn't have the best up hitbox right and now we're going to go through some combos and strings you can do on the sigs oh then we'll, we'll cover n-sig first right n is a very very weird sig but i think it's good it doesn't really get the love it deserves it's got quite a lot of active frames and it has a unique charging mechanic where if you charge it more, you go down and you jump further forward. And this actually has like a really strong hitbox. So it can be useful for mixing your opponent up. And it, it can be a useful stick. It, it flows quite well into the Gaunt's kit, honestly, right? Like if you land grounded there, you can do an end sig and it's kind of low risk, high reward. Because if it lands, it's insane. And it's got a lot of force. And now we're going to go through some of the sig combos or strings that I do on like a day-to-day -day basis, right? On Moldex, you should look for these. Um... One of these is when you get someone in the air, right, high in the air, we'll turn off uh, damage reset for now so we can rack up a bit of damage on them. Say you get, that was position reset, say you get someone in the air, right, and you've been stringing them and they were in the air with minimal options, what you can do after your recovery is jump and then GC the down sig, right? And if this lands, if this GC down sig lands, it will kill very early if you, because you can like hit them off the top, right? Look. We do this, we do this, you know, we're hitting them up. And then you do side light recovery. Or, yeah, yeah, so you do side light recovery. And if it doesn't kill, 
what you can do afterwards is you can do a sig which is really cool because you can get some dummy early kills of this right as you can see it throws them up and they'll probably die at like this percent to the sig easily right and that is one of the best ways to use that down sig you can throw them down as well but i recommend going up it does a lot of damage it's got good reach and it's hard to punish right so you should go for this option a lot it's not just like an option that you go for sometimes right you could go for a lot and that is the one of the best ways to use it and i'll give you a good little read at late percentage as well if you know they're going to spot dodge a lot of people spot dodge and you want to land an early kill you can do that right and it looks a bit weird but it's relatively hard to punish if they don't do the dodge and it kills very early right we're going to set the bot to uh we're going to set the bot to like 90 right very early percentage and they die they're light orange and they die it's the same with like a nair or oh, you have to land the nair grounded right but it's the exact same thing with a nair if you land a nair a grounded nair then you can easily just end off it and if they don't dodge it hits and if they spot dodge it also hits and these are some good things to know because if you get someone out to stage you can do that and that this is a good way to use the sig which people don't call good and another thing you can do is if you see that they down dodged, right, or didn't do the dodge you wanted, you can hold the SIG, right? And uh, if you hold the end SIG after you do it, it will uh, catch a few other dodges. So if, I, if he spot dodges, it won't work. But then if maybe he dodges down and left, right, just for an example, after you land in there, you can charge the SIG and kill it with that, kill him with that. And yeah, there's just some things you can do with the SIG kit. Side SIG is kind of mainly used for jumping over, but you should be using the down SIG a lot more. And that, that's actually it with Mordex. And oh, one more thing. GCing the down SIG is not also a bad option because you have this slight above hitbox, right? And what this above hitbox can do is grab them. And if you throw them from down here, they just die, no matter what. And you have to remember that Mordex's SIGs are really good. So you want to use them a lot, right? Like you want to use his sigs a lot it's not like a character who has like not good sigs like a lot of other siphon gaunt characters he has great sigs now we're getting up to the scythe combos now this is where it gets uh interesting the first things first is the down sig right you need to learn how to reverse this off the stage because this is really fun to hit it has a great hitbox and it kills very early as you can see that hitbox is kind of perfect for the wall you can do it here you can go all the way out and you can get some really big distance with that. And how you do that is you hold, you dash forward. So you dash SIG like this, but then uh, just before you input SIG, you just turn around your character, right? And it's that easy. And then you hold the away arrow. Or if you don't have the away arrow, you just do that, right? You just have to hold the away arrow and then you'll uh, drift out. So it's the same with the side SIG, although side SIG doesn't really work unless like you get them right here because it has more of a disjoint. And Entic as well. And now we're going to get on to some of the combos that you should do, right? So most of the things that I show you will be jumpable, but there's one or two which isn't jumpable, right? I've got the I've got the bot reaction to jump. And we're going to do a side light Entic, right? And as you can see, he could not jump out of that. So it's an amazing kill option. It's a perfect kill option. Easy to input, does a lot of damage, kills extremely early. But as you can see, these were jumpable maybe you could get this unjumpable if you did it frame perfect there you go but this is jumpable maybe again if you dashed and got it frame perfect then you could get it but again side light off this is with the one you want to do side light and sig bang you've got it right same with like dare you can do you can do dare and sig on uh on a read and they can't jump out of it you can do everything actually you can do nair and sig but they can jump out of this one and that is what i want you to know is any time that you can kind of use n light right unless it's grounded or anytime you can use nair you can pop the n sig and it has amazing force and damage right 27 damage and the force on it is really really high right we're killing orange on small ball right now okay and that is that's you know small ball is a very small map but it still doesn't take away from how strong the signature is. Very good to reverse because of the kind of back hitbox you have. You're still hitting above and behind you. So even when you reverse it, you can still kind of get in front of you. And I just recommend spamming the SIG a lot. Now, to get onto the side SIG. Reverse, reverse dare into side SIG is such a good combo. It catches so many things at early percent and it kills so early, right? 
You still use to reverse. Oh, the reverse into side tick. It catches jump, no jump. Kills so early. And if you do it like all the way on the edge of the stage, it's really useful. And that's something you're going to want to learn, right? You're really going to want to learn this. It is such a good combo. And if you do it on the ground, you don't even have to GC it, but it's not the same strength because when you do it off the ground, you kind of are at a height where they're below you. So if they jump, then they get hit by it. If they dodge in, they get hit by it. And it lingers just enough time to do catch all of these options, no matter the timing. And that is what makes this SIG so powerful, right? Because after it used well, you can follow up. Like, there's no kind of limit. And off, one of my favorite strings is off a non-reverse. Do you like, you won't see many people do this because it's very risky, right? Off a non-reverse D-Light. No, D-Light, Dare. You just pop, you just pop the D-Sig and see what happens. And hold it or don't hold it. And it catches quite a few options, like jumps and stuff. But yeah, I like to do that. It's really good because I like I like how early it kills. Like it'll kill even earlier than that, and it's just really good. But then off this, you just always do. There's no reason to do the down tick. You always do the side tick. So remember, each of six has a different use, which makes him so good. And the active input on them makes him so good as well. Now we're gonna go to stats, right? Uh, we're also gonna cover a few more combos, but we'll go to stats first because. There are Morlex's base stats are beautiful, they're perfect. You can keep them normal. Speed stance, if you want to be a bit risky, the four defense you can. I don't recommend it. Uh defense stance is a very good option. The six defense, seven speed, five damage is kind of they're just good stats. This one is like the kind of all out kind of meta option where if you really don't care about the way your character feels and you just want the best character, seven attack, seven speed, five death is beautiful. And I run decks, right. I run Dex because it just makes... I'm going to Galvin Prime. I go Dex because it just makes the character feel nicer. It reduces a few recovery frames. And it makes me feel better when I play. Which is an advantage. So uh, I don't personally recommend going Dex. It's just what I run because it feels nice, you know? It feels good. And that is Mordex's main things. And what we're going to cover now is just a, a combo on Mordex. Which you can net you a bunch of kills if you just do it, right? This combo right here, if they jump, they die every single time, right? If they just jump, it's it's over. They're, they're dead out at white even, right? And it's a really good combo. And it does so much damage. And it's not that risky as well, right? You do, lose, you do use a lot of your options. But at the same time, it's kind of, you kind of are still on the stage and you can follow up after. You can just mash the NTIG. I've played against players who just do it. Because the NTIG is so good. And on Mordex, off a side light, there's no reason to go for a flashy read when you can just do side sig. Side sig, end sig. And yeah, that's it for Mordex, really. He's just a very good character. And if you wanted a guide on Gaunts or Scythe, again, I have really comprehensive ones, really good guides where I cover every read, everything you're going to need to know. But that's it for Mordex. Mordex uh, is a really good character. And tell me what character you want to see next for a guide like this. It's difficult to do a character guide without covering the weapons. You kind of just cover SIGs and stats and everything, right? And uh, that's what I did. I think I got all the really niche things down. Just abuse the end SIG on Scythe. And make sure to always, after reverse dare, go for side SIG. If it hasn't, like, if it's working, right? If you read what their dodge is going to be, or if you don't know what their dodge is going to be, you can just do it. Because realistically, you're not going to get a huge punish on you for doing something like that, right? So it's always worth it to go it, go for it, because the reward is so huge. Like, you literally kill them at, like, orange. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, join my stream. I'm literally streaming right now as we speak. So, uh, well, as I speak, I'm going to be streaming in about, like, a minute. So I'll be streaming if you're watching video and just subscribe, follow my Twitch anyway. Uh, you can ask me any questions on Twitch. I always re reply and read chat, of course. Discord as well. Ping me if you've got any questions. Tell me what character you want in my Discord server. Join the, join the Discord server and tell me what character you want to see next. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Uh, laters.